Welcome back to it. Episode Kobe Bryant this week. Pretty much always I uh I record these on Friday. I this week I wasn't even planning to. I scripted this one out to record it yesterday, which is Thursday. Uh that didn't work out. I and I thought, okay, well, let's just record Friday. That's usually how it goes. I am recording Friday. It's a little bit later than expected, but that's just because uh, I started my Friday off right after getting off work. Got after it pretty hard. It was fun, but I needed a little bit of a fucking nap. I needed a little nap. I don't know if I'll sound a little bit tired or what, but I needed a little bit of a nap uh, before recording this one. Because my Friday, I got after it right away. That's all I'm going to say. I got after it right away, and by the time I realized, I was like, oh my god, I've I've made use of my time. Took a little nap, hop back up, I'm ready. So what the fuck is this new league? What's this new league about? I thought this was pretty interesting. So the new league, it's called Baseball United. And if you were to look on their website, their mission statement is to inspire 1 billion new fans to fall in love with baseball. So, good start, you know? And if this was just any random, you know, professional baseball league that was starting up, I may not give it as much attention, you know? But this league, I has this league has legitimacy immediately. And that's because of who is involved at the top of the league itself. So, the co-owners of the league, Barry Larkin, Mariano Rivera, Adrian Beltre, and Felix Hernandez. All either Hall of Famers or guys who are going to be Hall of Famers. Uh, Those guys are listed as co-owners of the league. Um, It has four teams. Right now, I don't know if their plan is to introduce more or if the first season would just have four teams. I have no idea. So the four teams, uh, first one, Karachi Monarchs. They're from Pakistan. That's the team that I'm going to choose as the team that I pay attention to and give a fuck about. Um, For some reason, when when I first saw this, like earlier this week, I think, um, I saw the the four different logos from the teams, and immediately I knew that the the Monarchs one was the one that I liked the best, and just implicitly, what my head was telling me is that I like that team the most, just based off the logo, and I like the name. So yeah, consider me a Karachi Monarchs fan from here on out. I'll be uh talking about them on the show, not as much about, not as much as like. You know, the St. Louis Cardinals. But, you know, Karachi Monarchs fan. It's not that often you get to be a fan of a team from day one. And I really hope this league does well, you know. I really hope that it works out. The other three teams, the Mumbai Cobras from India... From what I read, they expect this to be a pretty big rivalry because I guess Pakistan and India have a big cricket rivalry, um, which is also a big basis for why they feel that this league will be pretty successful in the South Asia, South Asia, Jesus, in the South Asia slash Middle East region. Um, Yeah, I guess they feel good about it because there's already such a fan base for cricket, Pakistan and India already have a rivalry in that sport, so now they're bringing baseball to the region, which is, uh, I guess, the first time that something like this has ever happened, so it's interesting. And uh, the other two teams, there's the the Dubai Wolves uh, in the country of the United Arab Emirates. Uh, Yeah, I had to look that up. I looked at a map. I... Just looked it up to sound like I know what the hell I'm talking about. I know nothing about the fucking Middle East. <laughs> I don't know where that really is. I there's a map. I mean the two the four places are pretty close. 
I mean, and the uh, the fourth place, the fourth team is the Abu Dhabi Falcons, also from the United Arab Emirates. So those teams are pretty close. So there's going to be showcase like all star games, I guess, on uh, November 24th and November 25th at uh, at the uh, the Cricket Stadium in Dubai. So that'll be interesting. I'm going to try to find a way to stream that uh, if I can. That'd be cool. And then I haven't found anything for like when the regular season starts or anything like that. So I'm curious how the rest of that is going to go because I, you know, love to support the Karachi Monarchs, you know. But uh, yeah, so if you give a fuck to watch it on the 24th and 25th, they're having a showcase kind of all-star game. Um I also read that since there's already cricket fields around in the region that they plan to just alter cricket fields and make them usable for baseball. So that'll be interesting as well and how that looks. And I uh, I hope it's an easy transition. I would think so. There are also some pretty big uh, ex-MLB player names who were drafted. Uh, Bartolo Colon, who uh, drafted in the second round, <clears throat> Apologies for the break there. Had to take a little intermission. I'll uh I'll carry on where I think I left off. But uh yeah, so Bartolo Colon dude is fifty years old, by the way. Um had a really long major league baseball career. Um pitched for a lot of different teams, had a lot of big moments. Um everybody loves Bartolo Colon, so he's a He's on my Karachi Monarchs. That'll be cool. Um, dude is 50 and he's still playing. We also have Robinson Cano. Or sorry, the Monarchs don't have these guys. But uh, in the rest of the league, Robinson Cano, Pablo Sandoval, DZ Gregorius, and Antrilton, Antrilton? Antrilton Simmons. I'm sorry. I, fuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. That's that's somewhere around there. He played for the Braves. He was he had a handful of pretty good years. Um, they, all those guys are guys who at one point were extremely successful major league players, and all those guys will be playing in this league. So that's pretty exciting. We get to see some older some older major league players against some. It looks like mostly um, the rest of the guys on these teams are. Maybe guys who reach double A or maybe reach triple A. I saw for the Monarchs specifically, maybe there's a couple uh guys who were just playing in independent league baseball. So yeah, getting to see it's it's a very interesting, like independent but yet also, you know, it's professional baseball, but it it's in Dubai. It's <laughs> it's a lot. It's it's cool. It's cool. I'm excited to watch it. I just hope it's a good product, you know. Um there's a lot of a lot of major league names involved and that's what kind of gets me excited about it cuz you know the uh Barry Larkin, Mariano Rivera, Adrian Beltre, and Felix Hernandez. Those dudes are all baseball legends. So, I can believe in them if they feel like they can back something like this then they obviously think it's going to be successful and god i hope so you know it's pretty cool and i also forgot to mention for the monarchs miguel tejada also a major league baseball legend he was he is the manager for the team and adrian beltre is uh is the gm so yeah again in case you care if this sounds interesting to you um, it's called the league. It's the league itself is called Baseball United. Um, the first like showcase games November twenty fourth, twenty fifth. I'm gonna be watching if I can. I think that's Thanksgiving weekend, so I feel like that might hurt its viewing slash streaming. I could be wrong. I don't know. But Thanksgiving weekend. I don't know how many other weirdos like me are gonna be watching Baseball United. I'm going to try to watch it. It'll be cool. It, the first games are just like East versus West, so it's like an all-star showcase situation. 
but it'll be interesting. I'm excited to talk about it more on here. Yeah, Karachi Monarchs for life, baby. Fuck yeah. I also looked up... I'll, I'll be honest, I have no fucking clue what is going on with the uh, Gaza-Israel situation. I am the most like politically uninformed person I know, and that's by choice because I just don't have the energy to try to know everything that's going on, let alone be upset about it, you know? So, I know right from wrong. I know it's fucked up, you know? If innocent people are dying, that's obviously fucked up. I mean, yeah. But I don't have the energy to inform myself on everything that's going on throughout the world. I know terrible shit happens. I know that I'm sure that it's all fucking terrible, you know? But I don't have the energy to pay a lot of attention to it. Because I just don't. I I just don't. I just don't care. I mean, I you know, at a, at a certain level, I do care, you know? The, the base level of me being a human, giving a fuck about other humans and what's right and wrong. Of course I care, but, I mean, dude, I don't give a fuck. I mean, I, it's, as far as the amount of energy and whatever, like, I, you get what I'm fucking saying. So, I, um... Uh, Yeah, I have a favorite baseball team from Pakistan, so we'll see if my political ignorance uh, does me any favors there. Again, I know nothing about nothing. I I learned shit. I'm still learning shit about all of the Middle East bullshit and whatever that happened around 9-11. I watch documentaries and stuff, and I still learn new shit. So I don't think there's anything wrong with Pakistan. I don't know. I don't really know shit, you know? I I give a fuck about the baseball team, so it'll also be funny. God forbid, I kind of have half hope that someone in the, in, the, in the way future is like, oh, you like that baseball team? They're from Pakistan. Fuck Pakistan. You know, they did this, this, and this. And I just be like, I have no fucking idea. I just care about the baseball, man. Before I go, I'll throw out there that since it's Friday, this is the first day of the World Series, so I'm going to claim Arizona Diamondbacks will win it. I think it'll be seven games, and it'll be a crazy World Series, but I think that the Diamondbacks will win. I did pick the Rangers to go to the World Series, and I was right about that, but something I, I truly believe in the bird coincidence that Randy Johnson killed a bird in, I think it was 2001, and the Diamondbacks won, and Zach Gallon killed a bird this year while warming up, and I think the Diamondbacks will win just off that. I want to believe in that, and I want to believe that that's true, and I don't give a fuck, so Diamondbacks in seven, that's my guess. Not next week, but the week after, uh, November 6th, I believe I'll be doing stand-up comedy again. I'll uh, I'll be going to another open mic at the the Heavy Anchor in St. Louis, so that'll be a good time. God forbid if you want to uh, want to watch me do like three minutes of stand up and probably not get that many laughs, feel free to come on by. But uh, yeah, that'll be fun to get back out there and do that again. I've been thinking about it a lot, so it'll be good to finally get some shit out there. That's all I had. I'm excited for this league. I hope it works out well. Fucking go Monarchs. I'm going to hurry up and get this edited. And uh, look out for a bonus episode. Today's the anniversary of uh, Game 6 of the Cardinals versus the Rangers in uh, 2011 when David Freeze won it. That was a top baseball memory of my life. So I think I'll be recording a bonus episode sometime this weekend. And uh, it'll be just about that time and kind of looking back on that since apparently today's the anniversary of it. So be on the lookout for that. Fuck yeah. I'm getting out of here. Have a great weekend, everybody. Again, I got after it. Jesus Christ. I don't feel great. <laughs> but God, I got after it. And so it's it's fun when that happens out of nowhere. You know, not all the time. But every once in a while, it's it's a little funny. So... You go get after it, too. Have a great fucking weekend. Thank you for listening. I'll be back soon.